The word compassion, it's used a lot. But are you physically putting it to use? And what don't we know about the banana? It's never been awarded the best fruit on the planet. And it should be. My name is Arrow. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. That means I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch. I listen, I study, and then we get to activate. I call it the daily mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw it to the side and deal with it later. When a subject arrives, that tells me it's time to dig in. It's still keeping a journal. By doing the research, the picture becomes clearer. This is The Daily Mess. Observation number 55. Many of us know what compassion is. We can talk about it all day. But are we activating compassion? The word compassion is defined as a feeling of empathy for another person. The calling is to help relieve a person's suffering. See the difference? The definition versus the activation. The reason why it's active is because it involves both feeling and taking action. Sympathy is passive. It too involves feelings, but empathy rises above by embracing the physical movement of getting involved. But can compassion lead to enabling? Those who pull on your heartstrings know they're going to get something in return. Nobody wants to hurt another person. Therefore, they're going to give them what they're looking for. But being compassionate toward family and community can turn a person into the enabler. The experts say that step one is to always set your boundaries and get ready to use that word no, which can be the most loving thing you ever do. Knowing in your heart that being the enabler doesn't put a positive feeling on the other side of your heart when you're truly trying to be authentic with your compassion. Hey, coming up next, the banana. My wife loves her bananas. I don't. Am I missing out on something here? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Daily Mess. Observation number 56. My wife eats a banana every single morning. I do not. I'm just not drawn to it. The experts say the banana is full of vitamins, minerals, potassium, and magnesium. Might I add, it's an amazing source of fiber as well. But my question is, bananas, is it a great way to start your day? Yep, it sure is. So let's just take a closer look at the banana, okay? Because bananas are low in calories, are high in nutrients, great for your blood pressure and the regulation of your heart. But for a banana to have a true impact, they say you have to eat the whole banana. There are some people that only do half of a banana for dietary disciplines, but it's a better tool when you eat the whole banana. It's a perfect go-to treat after a walk or a workout, but is it a go-to intake when craving sweets? We all love that fistful of Sour Patch Kids or any other shape of chocolate. Can replacing candy in your life with a banana be as easy as we think in this change of life? Oh, the wall that sits in front of you. Where are the bananas? You're in your car. The bananas are at home. You're at the office. And you know what? I've yet to see a movie theater that sells bananas. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.